Glory to Jesus Christ. Today is Saturday, March 23rd, the sixth day of the fast, uh, and we'll continue with our catechesis from St. Nikolai, uh, who now will explain uh, each of the 12 articles of the Creed. Uh, so we'll begin with the first article, which is, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. Why do we believe in one God? Because only one God is the true God. What is the nature of God? God is spirit, infinite, unchanging, unapproachable, eternal, without beginning, and without end. What are the essential attributes of God? God is perfectly holy, perfectly good, perfectly just, perfectly true, perfectly free, all-wise, all-powerful, all-merciful, omnipresent, omniscient, and self-sufficient. Why do we call God the Father? <clears throat> because he is the Father of Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, and also of all those who, by regeneration through Jesus Christ, are adopted as his children. Why do we call God the Creator? Because he created all things visible and invisible by his power and wisdom, and nothing could have come into existence nor exist without him. He is the creator and the keeper of all. What is meant by heaven? The angels who are invisible spirits and whose number is countless. Are angels similar to men? Yes, like men, angels are individuals with intelligence, feelings, power, and a personal name. And like men, they find their happiness in God. In what do angels differ from men? The angels are bodiless and deathless. What, who are guardian angels? Guardian angels are those angels who are attached to every man for guidance and protection. Christ himself confirmed this by saying, Take heed that you despise not one of these little ones, for I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father who is in heaven. From Matthew chapter 18. Are all the angels equal? All the angels are of the same nature, but they are different in glory, power, and action. There are nine angelic orders, thrones, cherubim, seraphim, dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and angels. Are the angels called by some other name in the Bible? Yes. Very often they are called the hosts of heaven or the hosts of the Lord. Why are they called by such a military name? Because they are a divine force fighting against evil spirits, which are opposing God and attacking men. What are the evil spirits? The former, former angels who fell away from God and became foes of God and men. What is the other name of evil spirits? Devils. How can we know who is among those beguiled by the devils to evil ways, by their hatred of God and men, and by their falsehood and violence? Whose name do the devils dread most of all? The name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And whose name do the godless men hate most of all? The name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then tomorrow we'll hear on the second article of the Creed from St. Nikolai. Uh, and before we leave today, we'll read some text from the Triodion for the first Saturday of the fast, uh, which is in remembrance of St. Theodore the Recruit. The greatest among martyrs has turned the sadness of this present season into joy, granting us relief from the strictness of the holy fast. Brethren, let us keep the Sabbath today, resting from our labors of the past week, for at the beginning, God blessed this day by resting on it from his labors, and now he has blessed it also with the solemn feast of the martyr Theodore. The pure and undefiled fast has now begun and brings us to the celebration of the martyr's miracles. Through the fast, our souls are cleansed from filth and defilement, and through the martyr's sufferings and miracles, we are given strength to fight bravely against the passions. Illumined, therefore, by the grace of holy abstinence and by the wonders worked by Theodore the martyr, strengthened by our faith in Christ, we pray to, 
we pray him to bestow salvation on our souls. And these are texts for the first Saturday of the Great Fast. Glory to Jesus Christ.